Hello and welcome to the video. I'm going to live update this MT12 onto the latest version of Edge TX. Now, why would you do that? Well, there's a couple of major improvements, things like the global variables that I want to play with for a couple of my videos. I'm going to go through this and show you all the steps. However, everything I'm doing is documented in here, which is the installing and updating Edge TX. Don't worry, I'll put this address at the top. You're going to use something called HTX Buddy. There's one way of doing it, which I'll show you in this video. There's also the bootloader method, which is the old slightly old fashioned way of doing it and requires you to know your way around a little bit more. The nice thing about HTX Buddy and the way I'm going to do it in this video is it is a step by step process. So we're going to do that. However, before we get there, I'm going to power on the radio. Welcome to HTX. I'm going to plug it into the computer and it will appear as a USB drive. And on the screen, we're going to have to select USB storage. And what we'll be able to see on the computer is the SD card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of that onto my desktop into a folder. And that's just going to keep it safe. It means that I've got that. So if I need to go back, I absolutely can. We're not going to wait couple of minutes for this. I'll fast forward to the end of this bit. So that's all done. I've got a backup. I could have always just taken the SD card out of the side here and plugged it into a, an SD card reader and got it that way. So now we've got that. I'm going to get rid of that and unplug the radio and I'm going to turn it off because we're going to need to plug it in when it's turned off in order to get to the bootloader and for everything to work. Now the entire process that I'm going to go through isn't anything new. It's in these documents here. It kind of takes you through each individual step. So I've got the Chrome stuff on here. Let's just go back to the beginning. So we have selected, we want the latest version. I've picked the radio that I'm interested in from the list and we're going to go through everything. So I'm going to plug in the radio without it being turned on and that is going to basically connect it in DFU mode. So that means that it should appear on the computer and we should be able to pick it. So we heard the little bing, bing, bing noise. It should be connected, but it hasn't appeared as a USB cable because it's not turned on. So we're going to say flash via USB and there's no devices here. So we're going to say add new device. There's an STM32 bootloader there and we're going to click on connect. That's the one we're interested in. So we're going to say next. It's going to take us to HTX Centurion 2. 10 one for the Radio Master MT12, and we're going to click on Start Flashing. So it's downloaded the file from the internet. It's currently blowing away everything that's on the radio. This is the slightly scary bit. That's why it's worthwhile doing things like backing up your models and also definitely backing up your SD card. And now it's writing the new version onto the radio. We're just going to wait for this to go through. I'm not going to speed this bit up. Again, this is something that I only update major versions when there's a feature that I really want. I don't tend to get too hung up about keeping on top of all the minor versions, but the Radio Master MT12 needs 2.10 to be officially supported. So just sit here, make sure that you don't touch anything. Also handy, although it doesn't really matter for this little bit, to make sure that the radio batteries are fully charged. So when you're ever plugging in and copying files to and from, that you don't have an issue where the batteries in the radio give up before you finish doing what you're doing. So we're just coming to the end here, coming through 90%. Last little bit, keep your fingers crossed. There we go, the radio briefly flashed. Now you may, may want to set up your SD card. We go, we'll do that next. So power on your device and make sure it's plugged. It's not plugged into USB. So what we'll do is we'll disconnect that. That should be on the latest version. Let's power it up. Welcome to HTX. Ooh, we have a new logo when it powers up, that's good. All my models are still there. Fantastic, that's all been preserved. So step one, power on your device, which we've just done. Make sure it's not plugged into USB. Connect your device to the computer and select storage, just like we did before when we backed it up. Once connected, select the SD card via the file explorer to make the changes. So we're gonna click, so this is drive E. Select SD card. We're gonna make sure it's drive E, say select folder. 
will allow it to view file and save changes. So we're going to select the Edge TX pack that we need, which is Centurion. The radio model is the MT12. And apply the changes. And that should then unpack the assets and download them onto the SD card so that all of those files on the SD card are up to date. And then we'll add the sounds that we're interested in. We can pick all these different ones. Uh, we'll have English. Let's apply the changes. And let that finish up that's going to take a little bit of time to do that and this is going to take quite a bit of time so i'm just going to skip to the end of this bit as well rather than have you sit here for a couple of minutes just watching a progress bar unpack here we are coming into the final stages now we're almost there do be aware you need to use something like a chrome browser in order for things like the edge tx buddy to work but that should have finished so that should be it so radio firmware was done on here, SD card contents, and it's still kind of all working. So what I'll do is I'll unplug it from the computer. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it on. Welcome to HTX. The sound file's working, all my models are still there, and now I have all of the stuff that we should have. So let's just confirm that's the case. We'll go into system, we will page across, and in the version information, we can see we are Edge TX version 2.10.1. It's that easy. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.